Ken Trahan with Lenny Van Gilder. It's our first NBC Bank weekend preview brought to you by First NBC Bank with 31 locations throughout the greater New Orleans area and beyond. That's First NBC Bank, proud sponsor of SportsNola.com. It's a busy sports weekend. High school football, Curtis and Carr, monster game Thursday night. And then, of course, our prep showcase game with Dilla Sal and Thomas Jefferson, which will be shown Saturday at noon. And that leads into college football. And the LSU Tigers on the road at Athens against Georgia, battle of top 10 teams. And this is a game with major SEC championship implications and major SEC and national championship implications if you want to take it a step further. Absolutely. And it's the, that's the beauty of SEC football. When you've got five, six teams in the top 15 in the country, there are going to be these games several times on the calendar. We had the A&M Alabama game a couple of weeks ago. Now the focus on Athens with LSU Georgia. You'll have a lot of these other games. Uh, you know, of course, LSU will go to Alabama November the 9th and you know, we'll see a lot of these other uh, these other big games, but this is this is the next big game on the schedule, and a, a lot of good storylines. Most notably, Zach Mettenberger returning back to his home state and uh, the place where he originally signed and where his mom works. But uh, it will be uh, that there, there's a lot of indicators as to what's going to decide this football game. And that's just one of them is the performance of Mettenberger. But uh, I think at the end of the day, which defense plays the best is what's going to decide this game because you've got two very good offenses out there. Yeah, it's all about defensive play and about uh, turnovers. And we'll see. LSU's done a good job of protecting the football. Mettenberger has no picks thus far. Clearly he'll be motivated. You hope he's not too amped up for this game because that, that could be an issue. But certainly he's playing great football. And this one figures to be... A really good football game and high scoring, and we'll find out a lot about this young LSU defense. We will, and uh, this is, you know, this is really a, a good four-week stretch for this LSU defense with three SEC road games coming up, and uh, yeah, we'll find out an awful lot about, you know, what this defense has done thus far. A lot of people critical of the yardage and the, and the late points that they gave up against Auburn, but that's a situation where you're just trying to protect the lead. That was twenty-one nothing at halftime, and really. Auburn never threatened to be back in that football game. So you, you know, you, you played the game based on the way the score was, and uh, I, I don't put a lot of stock in that game in the second half of that game last week. Tulane on the road in Louisiana. Second time they made a trip to North Louisiana. This time it's to Monroe and Louisiana Monroe, a team that handled them easily last year, but Monroe really got embarrassed last week. So. I don't know what to expect here with two teams that got beat badly last week. Yeah, exactly. Tulane lost by 35. Monroe lost by 63. Uh, Monroe played a better team in Baylor. Uh, Tulane needs to make some significant improvements on special teams after last week when really the special teams gave away 24 points in that game. It would have been a lot closer football game. Yeah, that said, you know, Curtis Johnson talked about this earlier in the year. You know, who is the more desperate football team? Uh if it's Tulane in this situation, then I, I give them a, a reasonable chance to go up there and maybe come away with a win. Uh, if not, uh, it could be uh, another another tough Saturday for the Green Wave. Based upon what we saw last year when these two teams played, but we'll see. The New Orleans Saints have a big Monday night game. Undefeated teams, ESPN draws the, the great draw, and they'll have an audience because of it. 3-0 and Miami, 3-0 and New Orleans. Saints at home, Saints favored, and obviously uh, this is a situation where they have to take care of business. They do. A great chance to be 4-0, despite the fact you're playing another undefeated team. Who would have thought three weeks into the season that the second-year quarterback playing the best right now might be Ryan Tannehill? Mm -hmm. With all with all of the guys, with, with RG3 and with Andrew Luck and with Russell Wilson getting all of the headlines last year, Tannehill has just been solid and consistent thus far, and he's a big reason why the Dolphins come to town 3-0 and this weekend. And the reason it's a big game is is plentiful, but when you consider what's to come the following two weeks, Chicago, New England, that's a tough stretch. Both on the road, and that will be tough. The Saints are not back home for almost a month because their bye week will follow the New England game. So, you know, this is, a, you know, a chance to, you know, the, the last chance for almost a month to be able to hold serve at home, if you will, and you've got to be able to win those home games. Uh, and I know, as you mentioned, you get the 4-0. If you can play 500 football the rest of the way, you're, you're at 10 and 6, and that may be good enough to get you in the playoffs. Uh, who knows, depending on how things shake out this week in the, uh, you know, in the NFC South, you might have a three-game lead on October the 1st. That would be uh, kind of crazy. Don't forget the prep showcase game. Thomas Jefferson, Dillis South, Saturday at noon on WHNO Television Channel 20. 
Sports NOLA TV, Monday night, 6 p.m. Ricky Jackson, Torrance Small, Brian Alley Walsh, and I, a pregame show for the Saints game. If you will, you'll want to tune in. And then, of course, Prep Recruiting Insider and a John Forcade show to follow. Yeah, we're uh, we'll schedule change on Prep Recruiting Insider. You can now catch a re-air on Tuesday nights, a new show coming your way Wednesday nights at 6 o'clock. If you missed Wednesday night's airing, uh, number one recruit in the nation, Leonard Fournette. Very in-depth conversation with Roe Brown and Renee Nato about his thought process and, uh, the, you know, the influences in his life and such. You know, terrific young man and uh, very inspiring to hear his story and, and what he's all about. A uh, great conversation. If you missed it on Wednesday night, you'll see it again this coming Tuesday, 6 o'clock on Channel 20. A beautiful thing. Lenny, have a great weekend. Hey, we'll see you on Tuesday to, pre- uh, to recap that Saints-Dolphins game. Yes, sir. That's our first NBC Bank weekend preview brought to you by First NBC Bank with 31 locations throughout the greater New Orleans area and beyond. That's First NBC Bank, proud sponsor of SportsNola.com. For Lenny, I'm Kenny. Have a great weekend, and God bless you.